today we are in Mongolia and uh, there are actually 52 caches in Mongolia at the time of speaking and uh, we're currently at a place called Setsalik which is in the Arunkai province right in the centre of Mongolia there's only two caches here so we're going to see what it's like uh, to do caching in Mongolia see if it's any different um, travelling here on a BMW 650 very nice little dealer and uh, so let's see what it's like here site we're about uh, 30 meters from it and as you can see the views up here are spectacular look down here you'll see some of the uh, what they call gears these are the um, temporary homes of the Mongolian herdsmen and uh, they're all across the plains over here so this is their summer camp so the cache Looks like it's down in that uh, rocky knoll down here. Didn't want to ride the bike down here. Probably wouldn't get it back out. So what do we say on the GPS now? Four meters. So you'd think that would be pretty close. And looky here, even in Mongolia, there's a telltale pile of rocks. So let's have a look in here. Here we are. Not the most exciting container, but the views are fabulous. And that's what it's about, folks. Let's have a look. Um, and it uh, looks like the last person to visit here was uh, September 2011, so about well, almost 12 months ago. So this is what caching in different countries or different cities even uh, is it all about. It's really about coming to places that you uh, never find yourself and having a bit of adventure on the way. And we certainly have had adventure today, so it's been great.